Welcome back to the Milk Bar Podcast. I'm your host this week, Stephen. I'm joined with Ellis, Chris, Danny, and Oshan. Simon's not here again because dead. Dead. We we're going to talk about comedic commentary, pop culture from the week prior, recent news, games, foods. Web. This is episode more. 11. Well wow. done. Let's Stephen, well, that is the most words he's ever put into a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm proud of you for that. Well done. Yeah. This is a good one. In fairness, it was his suggestion to uh, yeah. do well, yeah, he dropped himself. He wanted to do Simon to do it, but now he's dead, so he had to do it. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? We might resurrect Simon. And we can only blame erect Simon. What? We might make Simon erect. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> I, nope, that's incest. Wins. How's everyone doing? I do now? that every week. <laughs> I'm excited, mate. Clearly, from the outfit you're wearing. Why are you so excited, Oshan? We're going to Ibiza. Whee! <laughs> yeah, we're going to Ibiza. So I'm just getting in the mood. Yeah, for our uh, audio only listeners, Oshan is geared up and ready to go to hit the beach and uh, drown. So if he's. <laughs> yeah, I can't swim. Wait, wait, if he's already ready. Yeah. That means he's going to be wearing this outfit for a week. Yeah, yeah. We're, it's going a week. <laughs> a week to go, and I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already gone. I haven't slept in three weeks. <laughs> Since I clicked book holiday, I haven't slept. <laughs> no, I'm very excited because obviously Simon couldn't come with us because dead. Mm. Ellis couldn't because he had to work. Boring. But every other Milkman member is going on tour, baby. Which, can I add, is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> neither me or Stephen like this type of scene of going out every night. Over your hey, will speak after. for yourself, mate. He was telling us last week, in the last episode, mate, he didn't get home until 6am and he didn't remember the night before. That's because he was <laughs> drugged. <laughs> I don't see how that's my problem. Yeah, exactly. Well, okay, I don't like this scene. Yeah, you say that, but wait. Until you leave, <laughs> it's a whole different story. Have you ever been on a lads holiday? No, no, I didn't think I'd ever go on one. No, but you you are now, and I'm telling you, mate. Yeah, it was only ne- it's next it was cheap. Episode, next episode of this podcast, you're going to be like, I had so much fucking fun, it's unreal. It's either that, or I'm going to be like, I hated it. I don't <laughs> want to be friends with these people I am, never seen, I am never going to speak to these people ever again. Unfortunately, I'm leaving the milkman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's his resignation. Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to be my first time going abroad. Yeah, it That's is. Really? Yeah. Man, I only got my passport, passport yeah. yeah, the other week. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Shit, that's true. And surprise, and it'll be everybody but me that gets spiked, which will be weird. Well, you never know, mate. <laughs> I'll try my best. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll spike you. Oh, I fit in then. Not in that way, though. Oh, he's going to spike you me. with my dick. I will do it in that way. What? Because I'm sharing a room with him. No. Oh, good. Can't wait to hear the stories of that. He's yeah, going to. Pushing the beds together for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mate, that'll be the first image that we send to the group chat. Me and you just cut cozy in bed. <laughs> yeah, we don't even push the beds together. We just cozy up in one single. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so story of the week segment where some of the milkmen volunteered to tell a story of something that's happened to them recently or in the past. Then we, the milkmen, decide who has won the story of the week this week. So who's got some stories to tell? Oh. You know what? I've got a story. Is it? I've just thought about, about... somebody else. No, it's about me and other Ooh. people on this oh, table. Hang on a minute. Right. So th- this is this is going to be interesting because uh, my dad doesn't know about it. <laughs> oh God. Does he, so does if he, watch, he wait, does he do, does he, he watch the podcast? If he watches the podcast, this would be like oh, him finding big reveal. out. <laughs> so it could be. Uh, I think I know where this is heading. I am immediately sending this link to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to edit it. So yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't even know where to start. I haven't had... <laughs> We're here to support you. Dad, please. Yeah, it's okay. So I've not had a single tattoo. I've always gone. Uh, if I'm going to get one, it's got to be something meaningful. You know, it's got to have some sort of meaning. Anyway, Oshan went up to, like, you know, went up to us and was like, should we just get matching frogs? I was like, oh, <laughs> Yeah, so no convincing That whatsoever. is meaningful right there. <laughs> His whole life, no, nah, I'm never getting a tattoo. Never. No, nah, I don't see the point. Do you want to get a frog tattoo? Yeah. <laughs> it's like that easy. Oh, fuck it, let's do it. So we did. Literally, me. you could tell me anything. I'd be like, yeah, go on then. <laughs> Have a pint with me and I beat <laughs> Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Have several. hundred. All right. <laughs> but yeah, so... Um, the turnaround was I like a couple my... of weeks, wasn't it? Yeah. From deciding to have it and actually getting it mm. done. So, mm. fair so, play. So, like, I told my dad about it and I was like, oh, you know, 
about uh, get, about thinking yeah, about yeah thinking about getting it and he's like don't be stupid don't be ridiculous about getting that and i was like all right <laughs> <laughs> And then he did it. Yeah, anyway. yeah. And then I did it. So your life, you know, your body. Yeah, and it's right. I got on my thigh, so no one can see it except you know. Because he's scared of his dad. No, I th- I don't think well, I don't think he's going to be that bothered. It. It's just that he originally wasn't, and I just thought it'd be funny for him to just find out in like a random. <laughs> 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 I just thought it'd be funny if it's like dead random. But then I'm like, when would it? You know, when he's like. See me butt naked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. I didn't really think about it logistically. But any, so anyway, so me, Oshan and Ellis all got frogs. Uh, mine's a little cowboy. And then <laughs> cowboy frog. That's great. And then Oshan has got socks and a knife. Yeah. And uh, Ellis has got one on a little, on a little skateboard. And yeah. All, it's all quite nice. Yeah. I would show them off, but... Yeah, we would we're have not exposing to, yeah, ourselves we'd basically like that. have to get a cocks out again. Mm. Oshan wouldn't. No, mine's right here. Right, I'm looking at Oshan right now. Yeah, but... So I, I'll, I'll stand yeah, up. Stand I don't up. know whether the people will be able to Just see it. Chair, maybe in the wide in shot, chair. but... Just lift up your shirt on the butt. Mm. That's bit, the... Oh, bit of that. Bit of the fucking knife and frog. So going through... <clears throat> going through security at the airport. Have you got anything to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, have to you got anything to declare? Yeah, here's a fucking knife, mate. How about that? So... How was um your first time experience at getting a tattoo then? Yeah, it was it was weird, wasn't it? Because it's like I think you expected it to be a lot worse than mm. it actually is, and then uh, then it was. Yeah, <laughs> I cried. <laughs> yeah, I was like screaming so loud in there, and then uh, yeah, it, it didn't even take that long really either. I've got video footage of the needle hitting your skin for the first time, and you oh. you literally don't react. You just like <laughs> the most mundane, so, banal thing. I, I've I was seen. also thinking uh, of doing this. I backed out because I'm a bitch. Yeah. Well, yeah. I did actually ask Danny as well. Yeah. I think I asked everyone. Yeah, you do. And then he said, uh, maybe not. I, I was debating it, but I was like, really, do I want something that shit as my first tattoo? <laughs> we'll think hang, of, on a hang on a minute, mate. <laughs> this is Sorry, a fucking yeah. banging that tattoo. great as a tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. We'll think of something that you want to get on your skin, but then we'll turn it to 11 and make it so obscure that you'll have to get it on your skin. <laughs> and we're just like, penis. He goes, oh, I want this nice car, whatever. We're like, I might tattoo a penis on my penis. Hang on. It wouldn't fit. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> No, but as soon, as, soon, as soon as Chris had the tattoo, I was like, should we get another one of a cow? But you know what I was scared? Because you made me go first. I was like, if they back out now, and I'm just going, <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine it. We book you in and only you. Yeah, mate, you go first. We'll get ours in a minute. <laughs> Fucking prank. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nude. We just walk out. <laughs> halfway through it, you just leave. I leave halfway through. So I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, oh, it's just halfway through. Would you get any more? Yeah, I would, but I, okay. they'd have to be mean. <laughs> <laughs> he says that. Hey, I guarantee I'll be able to suit? get him a cow. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that's a lovely story. Let's, yeah, get, yeah. let's get all six of us in doing it. What? A, it, right. Stephen's not going to get a tattoo. Yeah. To be fair, we could force him. Yeah. You What's don't. he going to do? You know what I mean? Yeah. Guy doesn't go to the gym. Idiot, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to get a tattoo, Stephen, like... Like life or death, you had to get a tattoo. What would it be of? Death. Just the word death. Grim uh, Reaper on your chest. <laughs> no, I'd die. <laughs> <laughs> he'd, he'd kill himself. If I had to get a tattoo, I'd kill myself. All right, fair I enough. I haven't thought about it. Should we get a milk carton? Just somewhere. Uh, I've room. already got a milk. Yeah, you've got milk. Themed tattoo. Yeah, you've got the word milk on your ribs. What can I say? <laughs> Do you have the words oof on your hand? I've got the words oof written on my hand, not tattoo. It's not a tattoo. Oh, <laughs> I said I thought it worked. Like I, I would love... It, I thought, there's no way he's got a tattoo of oof oh, on his fingers. Now you're making me think, <laughs> should I get the words oof tattooed? Or milk. Get another milk. Milk. It would have to that. be on my right hand, though, because I've got my ring. Or milk on your other hand and then men on that hand, because there's only mm-hmm. three letters. You just got men tattooed on your hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you just give someone a left hook. You know what you're men. talking to? I would do that. Yeah. Okay. All right, okay. next one. Anyway. Next, yeah. Who else sort has got a story? Thing. Well, we were kind of suggesting the idea of everyone pitching into one story altogether, and it was when the milkmen went to London. I was fucking awful. <laughs> yeah. That's like the synopsis of everyone's time in London because... So, so my time in London was, oh, we'll go for a night out. We got into the night out, and I was like, Fuck this! I'm gonna go see what the car life is in London, and that's what it was. Yeah, you went home. Yeah, I just left. I was like, no, nah, fuck this! is awful. How long ago was this again? It was over a year. Yeah, it was a year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Over a year ago, we went to London. I got and, the notification um, about a year. 
Yeah. Days yeah, ago. it was literally yeah. a year to the plan. A couple of days, yeah. Yeah, so before Simon sadly passed away, he messaged yeah. me and went, yeah. do you know London was a year ago? I was like, damn, that's crazy. Good damn. times, then he it's died. Sad, yeah, then he just... Sad you're dead now. Yeah. Because you ignored him, because you're a horrible person. I didn't ignore him. I just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the whole London thing, I mean... I mean, in fact, we did go down to go and see our friends. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was going to mention. Yeah. Um, it was Raul nice to see them, and Robbie. But... Well, and then, and then one Raul's of your friend. Friend. When yeah. one of your friends took us to the most expensive place to go, and then dipped. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, Robbie. Yeah. 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 So he suggested we go out in Soho. In fairness, that is supposed to be the place no, it's to yeah. go. It's supposed to be it cracking. was awful though. But but we didn't actually go to. Didn't, yeah. We yeah, didn't even talent. get into the yeah. first club. Yeah. Because well, first of all, he left. Yeah. Like a knobhead. Um, and I, I can say whatever I want about him because he's not fucking listening because he is a knobhead. Um. <laughs> But we went to Soho and then there was this club. I think it was G-A-Y, wasn't it? Just gay. Yeah. A gay club. Gay club. And We're going to bo- suck each other. Yeah. It, I mean. <laughs> that's the intention. That's like, yeah, that's why we go. But we, we went there and then stupidly, it was kind of my fault. I am taking the blame for this. I let Stephen, Chris, and I can't remember, maybe Raul or someone else was at the front of the queue. And there's like 10 lads behind. And then they got to the bouncer, and then the bouncer said, how many of you are there? And they said, 10. <laughs> Worst mistake ever, mm. letting them suggest it, that there was 10 lads all going into a gay club where none of them, well, 90% of them aren't gay. So probably my fault. It doesn't really help the image as well when four of us were smoking cigars. Cigars in the waiting line to get into We were all wearing, like, fancy shirts, though. He had a fucking shirt worth, <laughs> like, 300. 350 yeah, like quid. Yeah. So, I mean, we were going to spend some money. Can I ask me? Have you worn that since? Yes. You bought it in Harrods. I've worn it three times for different occasions. One for your funeral, one for that night. I, don't and... f- I have a feeling that's not funeral worthy. <laughs> no, it was. Oh, it was it's worth very it. bright coloured. <laughs> oh, it was worth it. Okay. <laughs> it's very yeah. silky. I, I was admit. the most ball in there. It was great. <laughs> and I was crying too, so I makes sense. <laughs> Balling and balling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm balling, man. <laughs> Starts crying his eyes out. Yeah, for that London, it just got off to a rocky start when yeah. we were going to get a coach down there, weren't we? Yeah. And then oh, yeah. someone That's also there, my fault. Someone yeah, told us we're to meet at the train station when really it was at a bus In, station. That's to not be fair, even To be your... fair, though, if we got the coach, it would have been worse. Yeah, it yeah the coach so train made it better. Yeah. yeah, so fuck you, Chris. It was like nobody's fault. It was literally misinformation. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, thank it, you. It, it, thank told, you it did tell you train station, and then like the same day we'll go into the train station. It changed. Yeah. yeah. So it, I'm not I'm not the type of person. To, so like when we're going to Ibiza next week, we're traveling from Manchester. We've booked the flight. I don't expect on the day for it to go. No, now you trans you go in from fucking Heathrow. Heathrow yeah. in London. Like I don't expect that yeah, to happen. Absolutely. So on the morning of London, when we got there, and then we all were like, "Oh, where's the boat? Uh, the bus?" And then it wasn't there. That's not my fault, right? So back off, Chris. But let's be honest, yeah. the train was much nicer. Mm. Yeah, it was. We went yeah, on the it was wrong. quicker as well. We were on the wrong train for one. Yeah, well, that's the other thing, isn't it? It was, it was just really? a stressful journey because uh, then Osham then... was like, get no, on this train. No, no, even though... no. We went from, where, where did we go? So, no, so we were on the right train. We went into Crewe and then we changed the crew all the way down, didn't we? Yeah, yeah but yeah. the Which train the that right? we got from Crew to London was oh, the it was, wrong. Yeah, it was the right, yeah. wrong time. So that's they were like, it. oh, we're going to let you off this one time. Yeah. Which yeah, there's no stops do. until fucking London. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So daft. So you were all stressing like, no, we can't do it. And I was like, mate, it, yeah, but the other they thing, can't kick us off a fucking moving yeah. train. But the other there's thing was not... uh, Simon had just gone to the toilet or oh, something. Oh, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, the so most was stressful like, yeah, thing. He was like waddling along. <laughs> just like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, he's, right what's he going to do? He's fucking dead, mate. Do you know what I mean? Come on. No. It still upsets me. Do you know what I mean? Not, that wasn't even a joke in that term. Fat it was joke, just, he was like, <laughs> you fat shaming yeah. <laughs> No, I'm just You're saying. horrible. He was yeah. slowly, He's dead. Slowly just walking like this, and then we're just like, get on the fucking train. He's like, oh, well, if I miss it, I miss it. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't care. He, he's like that, though. He'd just get on the next one. Yeah, and he'd still make it. <laughs> yeah, fair. he'd probably get there before his summer. <laughs> <laughs> Quicker train. I'm trying to remember what we did in London besides complain Nothing. half the time. The, we, do you know what? I really did enjoy the tube. Yeah, it was just so fun. easy, wasn't yeah. it? Do you know what I, last time I was in London, I noticed when you go down from like the main street down all the way into like the bottom station, mm. you notice when the pollution hits. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say eyes the, start to sting. I was going to say everything. the exact same thing. It's fucking horrible. Mm. Well, yeah, they say it's like twenty minutes on the tube is the same as smoking a mm. cigarette. Yeah, yeah, which is crazy. But, 
the annoying thing is that's I, why I took I'd, up smoking I'd quite <laughs> happily well. live in London yeah I it's love the... London okay <laughs> fucking love it even though it'd kill me hang on me. a minute he's just been saying yeah. for like half an hour how he fucking hate it going you know I hate the night out the night out was shit unless you're with people but that when you, you go like your age. Cambridge and look at cars for the whole day that's fun <laughs> You could just go to a car show. You know that, right? Yeah, but at a car show, you see Corvettes and <laughs> Mustangs. Mate, car shows in Britain, You're like all you see surprise. is Ford Focus. Yeah, yeah. they're a fucking awesome. Course. You, you, walk, you walk into Cambridge and you see a fucking McLaren P1 driving past you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll admit that part of London was cool. Yeah. Because yeah. we saw the two Ferraris. We, oh, man. Yeah. They, well, they, what, it was, yeah, was cool. Nice, there was some nice night, but it was just a bit. And do you remember when we, uh, the first time we went on the tube? And then uh, we were there like trying to sort it out. And then we went... Um, Oh, we walked to that map or something, and me and you were walking, and I think it was Stephen and uh, Joey. Yeah. And then we just kept, because we were just chatting, we went straight down the uh, escalator yeah, down yeah. the stairs. And then we're like, oh shit, uh, Stephen and Joey. And we went to go back up, but the escalators were only, only going down. Only go down. <laughs> yeah, and then we and had then no was, signal yeah, on the tube, no so signal. we didn't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. 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 So the escalators like, where have they just gone? <laughs> yeah. Luckily, they came down. Yeah. There was. Yeah, there was a time me and Sai disappeared away from the group as well. Yeah, you just kept getting Ubers everywhere. Yeah, like, I was going to no, say. No, no, it wasn't that bit. Like we just kept getting like Uber Luxes, but that wasn't that big. It was brilliant. So we were walking down and there was this hotel the further down the street and there was a car under a cover. Oh yeah, I do remember And me and Sai spotted it for quite a distance away, but they took like this right turn off. And me and Sai were like, we gotta go find out what the fuck this car is. And it was just a Aston Martin from Le Mans in like Ooh. 1966 that Ooh. last sold for like 22 million. So it Damn. was it was a worthy stop. Fuck you guys. Not quite a Vauxhall Corsa though, was it? <laughs> but, and then to uh, end the trip we all split off didn't we yeah because yeah. like some people wanted to go home wanted and someone, to go so home. You, you, you stayed on to the, the sightseeing tour thing, but me yeah. and got code me code. Simon and mm. was it you was it, and then we got on the train yeah. and the train cancelled <laughs> yeah so we got on the next Calm. and then we had to get another one but that one was all booked up so we were like everyone was like it was just rammed full of people well me and Chris going round had a lovely time yeah it was a lovely time once you guys left yeah, it, it, <laughs> it, it, once all the moany groany yeah, country left, we had a nice time <laughs> I'm going to London in September by myself so I'll definitely report back if right. I enjoy it I'm going to a like an orchestra kind of thing you're so bougie Ellis I know <laughs> can, I go with, can I come with you but not go to the orchestra if you want so Oh, mate, wait, hang on. Should we all just go London again? Yeah, but not go for a night out, because that was awful. All right, I'm not going. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll go, go for a night out, but not in Soho. And stay in like a Premier Innocent. We were in a Premier Yeah, <laughs> we were in Premier Inn last time. That was the joke, Danny. Wasn't it? That was the well, joke. We're, not st we're staying in that hotel, was that Liverpool? No, that was Liverpool, oh. yeah. That, the that one with the heroin Oh, yeah, no, that yeah. Was, yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, that was okay. Well, wait, what segment was this? Story of the week. Oh, shit, yeah, whose story is this? Let's just say it's Alice's, because it's crap. Yeah, no, um, wait, this was the one we were all combined because it was London. Yeah, oh, this lost. <laughs> this story like, lost. There was loads more yeah. that we just, we just uh, started rambling. Yeah. Man. I mean, in fairness, one part, which is funny that I remember in the club, I was fairly drunk and I had a chewing gum for some reason. And Chris, I, I remember looking at you because I, I tried to spit my chewing gum out. I know, which is gross. Like, I was a bit off yeah. my face. Or I'm like, no, no, I didn't think I spit it out. I just, it just sort of dropped out my mouth, yeah. but it landed in my beard. <laughs> and then I was just sort of, I tried to pull it out and then it was all sticking everywhere. Yeah, and then it went like... all of my hands and face. <laughs> and I was just like, Chris, I've got to go sort myself out. <laughs> <laughs> he got himself into a dilemma there. A, cuff, a kerfuffle. Yeah. yeah. And then I went to the bathroom and you know that no spray, no lay guys that are in the um, mm. bathrooms, they charge like two quid for a fucking spray of Axe deodorant, yeah. whatever. Uh, he was in there and then I washed my face, washed my hands and then he had all the paper towels. So I was like, I went to go and grab one and he went, no, no. Like, you know, you need to give me a few pounds. And I was like, what? We're in a bathroom. Give me the towel. And he's like, no, give me a few quid and then I'll give you one. I was like, mate, I need a paper towel. Like, just give me. And then he gave me one. And I was like, right, well, can I have another one? Because my face is all wet. And he went, no. So I just went into the toilet, grabbed all the toilet paper and just went, what well, I and then I've, I looked at him whilst doing it and just threw it on the floor because I was pissed off at him. <laughs> and I remember like, Joey being like best friends or something. With everyone. There was yeah. that guy in the toilet, I remember seeing it and he was like... <laughs> huh? This is the club that we went on the ground in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I hated the guy and then our friend Joey was best mates with him. So I was really conflicted. <laughs> Joey's a really friendly drunk, drunk. Yeah. Yeah, he likes to talk to everyone. Guy was hugging me. This is like the first time I met him. He was like, You're like, an attractive boy, mate. <laughs> I say, no, man. I don't say it like that, bud. Do you want to fuck? No. <laughs> Maybe in Ibiza. 
Damn. Imagine cool. me dressed like this and just hanging out the back. Yeah, of the I would definitely run as just way um, move on from that. Anyone yeah. got any other stories? No. Everyone lost. <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> Wait. So what was the story? So London. So of, full. Uh, yeah. the tattoo uh, Chris's tattoo. tattoo. Let's go with the tattoo. I feel like I have got a, another story. Okay. So it involves me, Chris, Stephen, and Simon. Rip. And Pooh. And Pooh. Yeah. So we were staying <sighs> in an Airbnb. Of course it does. Yeah. In a, we were staying in an Airbnb in Huddersfield, or oh. as I like to call it, Shittersfield, because it's mm. an absolute shithole. And uh, we stayed in this Airbnb, and within five minutes, all of the toilets were broken. Now, they all like to blame me because of my past. Right? <laughs> it's got previous. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> but in my defense, I hadn't even gone to the toilet. One of our friends that we went to meet down there went to the toilet, and then all of a sudden, the toilets were broken. I know. Let's decide to blame Oshan. And I got the blame for the whole well, weekend. And it wasn't honest. even me. You probably just shut your eyes and not a shit by accident. <laughs> and it probably just flew into the toilet somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. It's like a skipping stone. You just fucking let it go Wait, in. You've been eating healthy and everything recently, right? How have your shits been? <laughs> I, I mean, to be fair, you say I've been eating healthy. Let's just say I haven't been eating because yeah. I've been trying to but cut have you, down. Have your shits been rather normal? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Man's just got... So problems. it's not your diet that's fucking you no. up? No. Oh, no, yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> like protein and chicken and obviously you have milk and yeah, like yeah, porridge yeah. and your protein shakes and stuff like that. I, I'm definitely... So, there's something fucked. So man's got some sort of intolerance that he keeps taking. Yeah. <laughs> I've no idea what it is, and I can't be asked going to check. So lactose intolerant. If it is man drinking no, a pint of milk every what? fucking time with protein and <laughs> shitting himself. Yeah. It could I don't know me. I could be lactose intolerant. I might have to quit the milk man because I'm allergic <laughs> to milk. Too bad. Check yourself on camera. <laughs> I will. You are the host. No, you he's the I'm the host. He's Sorry, the host. host. He's the host. He's the majority host though. That's why he's got to shit himself. Now, <laughs> <laughs> on command. All right, so who won Story th- of the Week? I think the tattoo. tattoo. Yeah, tattoo. I think it was the tattoo. Because yeah. like, that's hidden from his dad. It's quite funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, his dad's going to watch his podcast and like, you're fucked, mate. He's going to run you over with his car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> uh, yeah. anyway, what's the next segment? <laughs> next segment. Stephen, do you want to do it or do you want me to do it? Host, what do you want to do? Host, do you want me to do that? Okay, I'll give it again. Okay, hey, you'll give it again. boy. <laughs> okay. If you want to become a Milkman founder, check out milkman.shop. And then the rest of the word in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the guard. I oh, know. I'll do it. Yeah, you can do it. It's, like... it's a lot of words, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. Host delegated it to yeah, someone else. A big paragraph, that, Steve. Um <laughs> Well done, gold star. If you want to become a Milkman founder, check out milkman.shop. With limited edition hoodies, t-shirts, caps, and more, Milkman Original will keep you cuddly, warm, and cozy. With free shipping on orders over £69 across the UK, purchase any product and you'll be labelled as a Milkman founder. Make sure to check out the merch at milkman.shop. And also, don't forget, we are still doing our giveaway of the embroidered cow cap, which you can enter by going on to our Patreon at patreon.com slash milkman and subscribing to any of the membership levels, but just again, bear in mind, if you subscribe to the free round a month one, get the hat and then fuck off. We will be sending you shit. Literal. Cheers, Steve. Yeah, I wasn't saying all that. All right. Next okay. segment, weekly news recap. Has anyone got any stuff they want to bring up? A brilliant of piss. That's nice. So I'm a... <laughs> all right, see you in a minute. Yeah, I'll be back, guys. Don't worry. So... If anyone hasn't, has anyone got any news they want to bring up? I might bring it up after, but right now, what have you got, Oshan? I have got film news. Ooh. Oppenheimer releases only in cinemas 21st of July. Oh, man. Written and directed by Christopher Nolan, Oppenheimer is an IMAX shot epic thriller that thrusts audience into the pulse-pounding paradox of the enigmatic man... Is that the right yep. Hang on. You can't say that. And, uh, oh, oh don't start this. <laughs> Who must risk destroying the world in order to save it. How excited are we for that? Yeah. Incredibly More excited. More of a Barbie guy. Shut, <laughs> <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth, Stephen. So the plan is for us to go to IMAX in somewhere in England, I think, and go watch maybe Barbie yeah, watch and both. We have to Oppenheimer. Watch both to Double go. feature. Yeah, and in fairness, we can dress for both occasions. We can wear a suit. Pink both. suit. 
so yeah. you, you know fit the bill for both you just go like that uh, yeah i'm just gonna <laughs> turn it like this to be fair <laughs> but yeah it looks sick like, the cast has got so the many cast, like... amazing obviously christopher nolan yeah. amazing director didn't they oh, what was it about filming it that hit, like... didn't you want to use cgi he didn't so want to use, use CGI. real nuclear bombs on people <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There was a real. Are you good... joking? No, no, he, no, he's not using CGI though. Like the explosions are going to look like real because they're going to be real explosions. So like, like miniature, yeah. not obviously maybe. real, but not an actual bombs, nuke. But they're going to be yeah. look like real. microscopic um, explosions, reproductions yeah. of something like that. So he didn't set off. No, a no. There's a really good YouTube video I watched maybe a month ago where they did like a fake behind the scenes and they spliced audio from Christopher Nolan talking about making the film and how they'd actually set off nuclear bombs. <laughs> it, it was just really funny. Welcome back, Daniel. How was your week? It was painful. <laughs> Oof. Uh, it really then. hurt me. Anyway, how's it going? We yeah, were, we're, just... Just, we're just talking about Christopher Nolan's new film, Oppenheimer. I out. haven't heard of it. I haven't heard of it. Well, I'm not going into it. <laughs> okay. So don't care. <laughs> no, um, bit now. I don't uh, watch things. He's missed this bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, well. Anyway. But yeah, it does look good. Does if you want to know more, though, Daniel, Christopher Edward Nolan, CBE, is a British-American filmmaker. For government. Prison. You interrupt me again, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and I will batter you. Do you understand? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, so known for his Hollywood blockbusters with complex storytelling, Nolan is considered the leading, leading filmmaker of the 21st century. His films have grossed $5 billion worldwide with titles known such as Interstellar, Tenet, which was shite, uh, The Dark Knight, Inception, Dunkirk, and many more. So I put in... Big fucking bold. He's a big dick swinger. <laughs> Fair enough. So that's that's uh, that's about it. So you oh, watched, you're up to date now. Oh, up to you date. watched Tenet and you thought it was shit. Yeah, it's mate. It's not Tenet. It's shit. <laughs> shit. It. Shit. You, shit. It's just I, uh, shit. Did you watch Dunkirk? Well, I yeah. I thought Dun it was. Yeah. I thought Dunkirk was pretty good. Dunkirk was fucking. It was good. Amazing. It was, it was well, a very good movie. Yeah. I was just sort of like uh, maybe you're oh, just. Yeah. Opinions are wrong. Yeah, yeah. No, maybe you just mate. Now I, shut up, mate. I, did you watch Tenet and think, oh, this is I an know. amazing oh, film? What Chris just said. Yeah, I just thought it was, it was decent. I, don't know. I, I wouldn't uh, say it was shit. I used the description months ago when it came out that it's the perfect film for you to watch at a TV store with no audio, just to like see the visuals. Mm. That's yeah. literally all you need to see. Yeah, yeah, because the story is an absolute fucking travesty. <laughs> it's just a but bit. he's always oh, an absolute travesty, mate. <laughs> Shut up, mate. I'll tell your dad about your tattoo, about that. Do you know what I mean? You're done. Oh, uh, yeah, what have you got on me now, mate? What have you got on me now? Oh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wanna, do you want to pipe down, mate? I've got a lot of shit on you. It, he doesn't yeah. know. Not, <laughs> yeah, not like that, but yeah. I'm a bit like Where that. were we? What were we talking about? Oh, yeah, Christopher Nolan. Yeah, and Tenet and whatnot. I haven't seen all of his films, but for the majority. It's mad that like he's such a prestigious filmmaker, but he's done three fucking superhero films. Mm. It's not something that you think of, really. It's like yeah. you'd correlate. Mm. Good, though. Mm. I'm yeah. very excited for Oppenheimer. But, but Barbie, though. <laughs> <laughs> I generally really want to watch that because I have no idea what to expect mm. because it's written by one of my favorite writers. Is it? Yeah, Noah Bambuch. It's um, the husband of the director, Gr Greta Gerwig? No. Greta Gerwig. Greta Thunberg. Greta yeah, well, Greta, I, was, Greta, I was, Greta wasn't Gerwig too sure if I was going to say Gerwig that name. name. Yeah. But um, uh, okay. just really good filmmakers, so I'm not sure if it's going to be like uh, deep or... Hmm. I doubt it. It's have, you seen, yeah. have you seen the trailer? Do you know who's in the film? Mate, no, because I don't go out of my way to look it's at a like Barbie a, trailer. It's Ryan as big as a cast as fucking Oppenheimer, really, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I know. The cast is massive, isn't it? They've got like so many different versions of Barbie played by different actors and actresses. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah and Ken. The, the only reason I'd go is because of Ryan Gosling. Let's be fair. <laughs> John Cena's in the film. I'm is going. he? My, yeah, Michael, uh, Michael Senna's in the film. How do you know? You can't see him. Ah, shit. Sure. See? Moving on. Uh, yeah, so if you had access to a nuclear oh, bomb, Michael Cera, what would you do with it, it and why? Here comes the sun. <laughs> <laughs> it just blows the fucking planet up. What would I do with a nuke? Probably. Yeah. There is enough uh, nukes in the world to destroy the world like 10 times yeah. over. So. You know what I'd do? Is I'd, that true? I don't yes. think it yeah. is. It, well, it was once upon a time 12 times over, but we the world came to an agreement that that was stupid. <laughs> so they just put it to 10 times. Is it though? Because yeah. 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 It's concerning. Yeah. There's a whole video game based about it, and it's called Metal Gear Solid Five, oh, yeah. where your mission is to basically fucking stop all the nukes. Mm. Oh. And do you? It's up to you. 
Yeah. Oh. So you could either just kill yourself or not. Nice. Yeah. Mm. Sounds exciting. Yeah, it's a great game. Anyway, what I, back to my fucking what question. I would, <laughs> what I would do with a nuke is I would um, deconstruct it and build it up again, like a Lego. You would be dead. Yeah. Definitely. Like, <laughs> there's there's two chemicals in the love. Like, you accidentally slap together. We'll just kill you. I mean, it's a risk I'm willing to take. Okay. I just use it to keep me warm. <laughs> I mean, it would work. It <laughs> definitely would. It would definitely work. I'm not going to say what I'll do because that's a bad idea. You definitely aim at a certain place that we will not disclose. Anyway, <sighs> Stephen, what would you do with a nuke? Blow up the world. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Right. Well, I, I for one, would sell it. You get one mate, you're the water. clever one in this group. <laughs> who to me? Yeah, who are you selling it to? I don't know. Danny might be interested. <laughs> I didn't say it was going to be worth <laughs> Yeah, I know a nuke is probably worth No, millions. I'm sorry, yeah. But if you go to the Iraqi, you'd be like, do you want a nuke? They'll be like, yeah. yeah you you're not going to offer it. Money. Mate, I didn't say, oh, I'm going to sell it for millions. I might sell it for a fucking... Total or own. I'll buy it for a sandwich. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Done. Sorted. Easy. Don't, you... don't leave me hanging. <laughs> don't leave me hanging. <laughs> oh, okay. That's how I weird. Jake. Next question. Do you think you could survive a nuclear blast? Yeah, hop on a bridge <laughs> like Indiana Jones. Yeah. I'd just duck. <laughs> <laughs> Go under the shockwave. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Well, no, that's what you're supposed to do. Are you done? No, genuinely. Because if you... No, shockwave isn't up in the air. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> yeah, it's not the on the ground wave. and up. Yeah, yeah, I know. But if you stand up, you have more chance of oh, your yeah. lungs exploding. So if you're flat on the ground... You're like still gonna going die. down. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking attitude. You're still you... gonna die. I'm gonna it's a nuclear bomb. I was only mate. joking. Like... <laughs> just I'll jump it then. Man's just actually just got a bomb. No, no, carry on. Do you know, it's just a hypothetical question. You've carry on. Give me shit. Oshan, you've actually got a bomb. You just want suggestions, don't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> Where should I put it? <laughs> Do you reckon you could have survived it, though? No. Like a, a nuke? Definitely not. not. Um... It's not dropping on your head, Ellis. I just mean, like, within the, you, the area that you're in, there's a nuke that's gone off. You, you're out of the range of, like, the actual explosion, but you know the the um, that would radioactive run to material it. and stuff like I that. I mean, I know whether a nuke, there's a nuclear shelter in me, so I'm I'm good. Fucking what? There's a Seriously? nuclear shelter. Yeah, it's about what five minutes away from where I live. What? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Are you joking? No. Is this? My, my dad's been in there to like put some stuff in there and stuff, and I think it's crazy. Oh, hang on a minute. This is getting. This is fallout in real life. This is mad. Are you planning something? <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Chris, do you reckon you could survive? Um, no. Fair enough. <laughs> Alice? I would run towards it. <laughs> it's not a V2 bomb from World War II. You don't run towards to it to get it. away from it, you know what I mean? I still, I want to see the pretty lights. Like, <laughs> I want to see the pretty mushroom. I'd go out and just really like breathe in, just soak it all up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a good tan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you? What, if I could survive? Would, would you survive it? I mean, let's just say I don't get hit by the blast or okay. any like rubble coming my way. I reckon I would. So yeah. just the radioactive that'll kill you. I'm no, because you, you just go inside and hide, don't you? Underground. Radioactive still gets in. Right, so you're, so you're saying you won't get affected by any of the nuke? Nah. You'd survive? Well, yeah, yeah we'd fine. But how, you'd, you'd go where? Well, yeah, where would you Undergr go? Underground. Would you have where? enough food to live? Cave. You know what I mean? You, you, would you have enough food to live? <laughs> no. So goes off right now. <laughs> then you'd die from it, wouldn't you? Yeah, but that's not me dying from the nuke. That's me dying from starvation. <laughs> don't worry, mate. It goes can... off right now. Where do you Where'd you go? Under the table. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, yeah, mate. We're right now. We're all fucking dead. <laughs> you, can, you can have the hole I buried. <laughs> what? He'd dig, up, he'd dig up the hole that he buried from last podcast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking deep cut right there. Steve? No. Fair enough. <laughs> what would you do in the event of World War Three and 10,000 nukes all go off right now? Die. Fucking die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There would be what nothing of us. What do you mean? What are these? Que they're questions, mate. Do you want to? Well, no. In all fairness, the main like nuclear targets would be London and any normal city like Cardiff, well, blah, blah blah blah. There's ten thousand. No, but they say they say the way that they would nuke the UK is nuke the seas around us, and then yeah. they would bring uh, like tsunamis. a radioactive mm. tsunami all the way across the UK. I mean, that's a smart move. Well, then but, we'd die, wouldn't we? No, but in fairness, because we're in Wales, there's loads of mountains, so we would probably have more chance. Probably. I mean, that's the. Um... Well, it depends who's bombing us. Mm. Me. <laughs> With your then we'd all survive. Shit. We'll be all good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, that was the strategy in World War Two. Is like all the um, what's the word? The kids. There's a word for it. All the kids came to North Wales because it was evacuated. That's yeah. it. I mean, that that's why our, our one of our main rivers was one of the main like, manufacturers for boats. Mm -hmm. It's because we could we were unhittable basically. 
Ooh, pretty much. We history. were undestructible. Yeah, history, yeah. Isn't there another word for that when the kids were evacuated? What's yeah, it? I just can't think of it. Was you on about? Evacu- they were like evacuees. It was evacuation. Orphans. <laughs> no, I, there is a definitely <laughs> their parents are dead. Simple as that, really. Sounds like there is, isn't there? Um, like Uwe's is the closest one I can think of. Ah, oh, well, don't really care. Um, moving on. No one, no one definitely got any news now. Well, I was going to just say another film that I'm looking forward to is the Spider Man. Uh, oh, the Spider That comes out yeah, in a week. Well, that looks good. Yeah. But that poster gets like it's horrible. That poster. Yeah, so one? the poster is. Um, do you know Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man where he couldn't catch MJ? Yes. Yeah. So it basically looks like that. So Gwen is falling and Miles is above her. I haven't seen that. In the, so she looks like she's terrified something's going to happen and then he look, looks kind of worried, scared, like, you know. So it looks like something weird, like it's going to go down and it's oh, going to be horrible. So I don't know. I you, just, yeah, I love it. And I love the soundtrack. Oh, the That's soundtrack. Is, yeah. Movie that we're gonna do. I still haven't watched the first one. You're what? an idiot, mate. Yeah, you're actually you stupid. No, oh my god, we're going to Steven's Get house out. to watch it. Watch it immediately. <laughs> no, we we definitely need to it's sit down and good, watch it. Yeah. Go, and, go and mute his mic. Watch <laughs> it. <laughs> no, I, just, I don't know. I just never thought of. No, it's, it's like definitely yeah, it's, it's the best one. It's probably one of the best Spider-Man the best movies. Ones, yeah. yeah. Ah. It's made by the same guys who did uh, Twenty One Jump Street. Mm. Is it? Mm. Oh like, wow! The animations in that movie are incredible. Yeah. Yeah, I still feel like. Ratatouille's better. No. I'm I'm thinking <laughs> deeply about this because I'm not sure if it's true or not. It's not true. Don't be stupid. But Remy, though. Yeah, but the anim- animations in Spider-Man are so much good. The animations better. are far better because that was a yeah, film. But... And the story's better. Brother, it's you know a... I mean? a rat's a fucking chef, you know what I mean? <laughs> I thought yeah. you would have loved I'm it. I'm a chef and I don't want to be. <laughs> yeah, but you're also a chef and a rat, so... Oh, good point. The film's based about you. <laughs> have you found what that word is no but I know what you want I feel like I know what you want about on my pubes instead <laughs> oh my god Why? he's a sex <laughs> fan in the of chef um, there's, a, there's a segment in the film that we mentioned quite a while ago called everything everywhere all at once where they kind of rip off the ratatouille yeah but the they, raccoon yeah. yeah oh yeah it's fucking weird but so funny I hit the table uh, in other news Fast X. Shit. I was going to go watch that last night, but I didn't. Good. Good choice. Fasten your seatbelts as everything smashes into everything else in this not quite finale to the Fast and Furious franchise. Fast X. Street racing to Star Wars wannabe, Fast X has raced off to a $67.5 million domestic weekend box office victory, which puts it in seventh place for opening weekends of the Fast and Furious franchise. Who's actually going to go watch this bag of shit movie? No, I am. I'll probably watch it on demand. Like, when I'm eating something. Shit. Yeah. Do you know what pisses me off? What? The actors. Why? Do you know the person who plays um, Letty, Michelle, whatever her name yeah. is? Michelle so, Rodriguez. You've yeah. seen the interview. So, she goes, oh yeah, superhero movies are overplayed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I saw that. You, you send cars to space? <laughs> Shut up! Yeah. <laughs> In fairness, though, like they are crap movies, mm. but it's the fact that people keep going to watch it is yeah. the reason there's more being yeah. made. I think it's they they hope it's going to go back to just being about cars, and it won't. It won't. It'll never go Unless back. Unless they that. do a spin-off. Yeah, there like, is Tokyo Drift. Drift. Mm. Yeah, that's a good film. But that the, was a brilliant. I mean, film. I watched it the other day actually, Tokyo Drift, because I wanted to, but then it's <laughs> not as good as you remember. Well, no, but it was about the cars. Yeah, not. Yeah. Stupid shit that doesn't matter. Mm. Yeah, like, I've, I've seen drama. a clip. It's, I haven't watched the movie, but um, Vin Diesel's character drives a, his charger down a fucking side of a dam as it yeah, explodes. Yeah, that's yeah. a new one. Yeah, and then he sets the nos. Yeah, so he goes. So he'd dumb. literally explode as soon as he yeah, pressed yeah. that button. The moment he presses that, the whole car is catching flames and it's blown up. Yep, it's done. I want to watch it, it just to laugh at it. Maybe. Yeah. Question for you then: Even with the power of family. What do you think is humanly impossible for them to accomplish? <laughs> what? Nothing. The, they can do the impossible. Yeah. The plot the... armor they have is unreal. Oh, I, I, I mean, I... yeah. Characters have died, died and, and then come, yeah. come back. Exactly. Yeah. It's a bit like Simon <laughs> in the next episode of The Milk. I want to see the fast um, family travel the multiverse. That's what I want to see. Well, it's like five past like four and all that. Yeah. 
No, just like the multiverse of the Fast series. Like they've found. It'd be so dumb. Yeah. It's such a dumb movie. Yeah. Do you reckon there is something that they will put into one of these movies that they can't pull off, though? Like oh, dinosaurs. Mean, like... Dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think an actual just, god. They'd you know, find we, a way. We laugh about it, but. They would find it, a way. It, it, it yeah. might happen. Yeah. Just driving a mini. See what happens. They just Vin can't. Diesel doesn't actually drive a Dodge Charger anymore. Yeah, that's what kills him. <laughs> that that was his real family all this time. <laughs> He's driving a seven seat family car. Yeah. Um. Damn. So instead of going to see um, Fast X last night, I went to go see another film, and it was called Sisu. You might have heard of it or seen the trailer for it, mm. but it's basically John Wick in a world war, and it's based in Finland, I believe, and it's basically this one guy who is a gold miner, and he gets lucky, and uh, the Nazis take his gold, and it goes on a rampage. Oh, nice. Fair it's enough. It's really good. Is it a true story, or? I don't think so. <laughs> <'Cause that laughs> because be the, shit in it, fuck. the shit in it is pretty mental, so probably not. Oh, but I thoroughly bad. recommend that rather than Fast Is it in X. the cinema? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Have you, has, has everyone watched Guardians of the Galaxy 3? Yes. I have, yeah. yeah. I watched that the other day. Very good. It was... Don't. It reminded me of previous Marvel. Like it yeah, took like me old back Marvel. to Marvel. Yeah. But it wasn't the best. That's, I'm fair enough. In my opinion. <laughs> it wasn't the best. Bye, Steve. I don't like... Um, what's his name? Fucking Star-Lord. It's I don't Chris like Pratt. him. Chris Pratt. No, I like Chris Pratt. Plot. Fucking, <laughs> I'm still drunk. You don't like the character. Uh, I, I don't like the character. I like the actor. I don't like the character. Okay, that's fair. Because the character killed my best, my my favorite character. Come Iron on. Man. Uh, Iron Man. Iron Man. Well, because if he didn't go, oh, oh my okay. girlfriend's dead. <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice the entire world to you know. I can feel you, you feel very yeah. strongly. About yeah, this. no, I'm pissed off beyond belief about <laughs> it. Um, is this the only reason well, then, you thought the that, that, I, I wasn't going to go watch it. that's your reason, though, just for that, there's so many other things that have gone to that. Like Thor didn't kill Thanos in Infinity yeah. War. So is it Thor's fault? Yeah, a lot of yeah. contributors. Well, no. yeah. And that wasn't... I don't like Thor either that much. <laughs> but the fact that you're putting Iron Man over Thor is quite... And wasn't it not... Quite like, it wasn't I'd put Iron Man over any of the cunts there. <laughs> man, man really likes his Marvel. I fucking love Iron Man. <laughs> yeah. um, no, so I... I love that film, Guardians 3, because mm-hmm. for the Marvel films, it's a hit and miss most of the time. Yeah. And Guardians 2 and 3 are the only Marvel films that have actually made me cry. No, actually, I'm mm. wrong. Endgame made me cry like a fucking baby because of the, <laughs> the very end of it. It's just so emotional because everything has just come together mm-hmm. after 10 years of watching this shit. But um, Guardians 2 and 3 are just... They have... They have this different angle at approaching the Marvel films uh, most more than most. And the ending, number two, was fucking perfect, I think, when the funeral happens. Funeral. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And Guardians 3 just kind of amplified that because it was a lot more, but there was a lot of people talking about it. It's um, animal cruelty and whatnot. And they just did it so tastefully. Yeah. Mm. I mean, so, it, was the, it was the only ever Marvel film to drop the F-bomb. In all fairness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like is, that. Which is yeah. new, I guess. Open the fucking door. <laughs> but, yeah, it was good. I did enjoy it. Yeah, it was very good. It wasn't my favorite film, though. But That's going fine. Back, back to Fast X, mm. which is obviously better. Um, <laughs> 100%, last yeah. question for you. Family? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> no. No, it's a genuine no, question. No. What, what about family? I am Groot. Family? Well, I there think... is a connection there, isn't there? Vin Diesel. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's your connection. Yeah. I just thought you were randomly saying I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Family. Oh, God. Clever, right? Family be family, you know what I mean? So is it time to go home yet? <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't already, make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok with the handle at WatchMilkMen for behind the scenes and extra content, and also because you will get the use of Ellis's body for a week for whatever you please. Oh, my God. Where do I <laughs> just buy merch? What? No, follow what us. I mean, follow doing? us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll do all of it. Or buy our merch at milkman.shop. So you come home with me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, handle is at Watch Milkman. So, curdle conversation, which is a conversation between the five of us where we delve into the hypotheticals of the world's most notorious and despicable questions. 
that we now encourage you, the audience, to send us. So if you've got a question, send it in, comment below. Hypothetical question for today. Would you take $10 million, but for the rest of your life, there's a snail that's trying to get you? Yeah. And you can't ever be touched by the snail, otherwise you'll die. Yes. Yeah. What? How? Yes. What would you do? The queen did it. I'd do that. I'd, oh, I'd take the million. The queen did it for like 98 years of her life. Or how old she is? I don't know. What are you on about? She's waffling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just what are you chatting? You know what I mean? You would. Yeah. You'd take 10 million quid. Mm. What if it touched you and you died? You die. They'd die. Yeah. That's but sad. how do you know which snail it is? What you I'll do. In like the past yeah. year, I've not, I haven't seen a snail. And what you so do good. is you'd go somewhere so remote where there's no other animals, and then eventually set up a security system so you'd find at least one snail coming towards you, and then you'd put something on top of it yeah, and I train, gonna... and you'd bury it at the bottom of the ocean so it can never get out. Or you'd send it to space. And you <laughs> yeah, but this isn't a fast sex yeah, movie, what? mate. This is a magical snail. Yeah, just come back. What's magic about it? <laughs> if you touch it, you're dead. Yeah, but I'm not touching it. I'm sending it to space. Yeah, it would find, it find it. its way back. That's what I'm saying. I'd send it into the sun. <laughs> <laughs> then I win. Would you take it, Chris? Yeah. I know you I'd would. Take, yeah. <laughs> Definitely would. Who are you? Would I take it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I, no, I'd take I it. I believe he's going to be nuts. <laughs> Literally. No, 10 million, 10 million quid. I don't think there isn't... I don't think there's much that I wouldn't do for 10 million quid. Like, Why are you looking at that me case, like that? We need to work out how, like, you could work out how long, like, it takes a snail to cover a certain distance and then go to, like, the other side of the world. Mm. And then it's like, you know, you've got... Yeah, but yeah. Long it's left. a magical snail. So you could go to a different country and it could just teleport and then just well, come towards you. Teleport that's snail, di- yeah, it's different then. No, yeah. it's not. It doesn't teleport. But also, you're saying you want to go to the other side of the planet. How are you getting there? Plane. So a snail could also get a plane. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can just hop in your bag. Isn't it? You know so you're like, oh, you die. Okay, so you're like, oh, I'm 100 miles away from the snail right now and it'll take X amount of time because a snail travels at X mm. amount of time. It could still travel the same speed as you because it could get the same travel, th- like a car or tra- train, whatever. Sure. It's a fucking magical <laughs> snail, mate. You know what I mean? Well, I've got 10 million quid, so who's laughing? Do you know what I mean? You reckon 10, 10 million pounds... To outrun a snail for the rest of your life. Yes. You Easy. Protect yourself. Buy some armor with that 10 mil. Buy a security system. Mm. <laughs> That's all you need. I reckon the snail would get you. Right. Yeah, but just put the ring by the time it gets me, I'm going to have some fun with that 10 mil. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I've That's, had my that's fun a good now. point. Yeah, yeah. Just have a load of fun and then touch yeah, the just, snail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I just go out hunting for the snail. <laughs> yeah, buy <laughs> your cars, do whatever you want with it. Anyway, all right, I'm done now. Dead. Yeah, simple as that. All right, I think we keep collect- it in your vault. Collectively, I think we've solved this. Yeah, sorted, <laughs> done, cool. Moving on. Bonus question: Would you rather fuck a dog, oh, but wow. no one would know, or not fuck a dog, but have everyone think that you did? <laughs> oh, I just not fuck a dog and then them. kill everyone uh-huh. who thinks it. The whole world. I did you? Know I do. I'd fuck a dog and then tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> just have no one like believe in you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've already done one. What? Mm-hmm. What's that? <laughs> huh? Huh? I need he thinks we're juice. talking about feet. Huh? <laughs> yes. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't be so fucking stupid. I wouldn't fuck feet. Idiot. But you would fuck a dog. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe for 10 million. Yeah, maybe for a million. There's, there's no money involved. Snail, no maybe. money involved here. I just it's want a snail hunting me. I'm not going to lie. It's just if you had to fuck a dog, wanted, but you know what? I mean? you know what? What would you do? You're going to be low. Like, the thing is, if you chose the... Op- I wouldn't... I, I just don't think I could fuck a dog. I'm sorry. I'm no. sorry to anybody out there that, you know... You like, what? Yeah. <laughs> kind of Did you just weird. apologize to people that fuck dogs? <laughs> sorry if yeah. you do fuck your dog. I don't want to offend anyone. You know what I mean? You're fucking... We got <laughs> Freaks, it. We got mate. it. <laughs> got to, you know... I'm a people pleaser. <laughs> not a dog pleaser. Though. I'm not a people so, pleaser. We got to shelter you, those people who are into bestiality. Dog, we've got a dog shelter. <laughs> anyway... The thing is, you're going to be lonely, aren't you? Because no one's going to like want to... Although, actually, maybe you'd be friends with the dog fuckers. I thought you were going to say friends with the dog and he mm. wants it. No, so I'm just, trying to, I'm just trying to work it out of my head. Like, if you were to fuck a dog, no one would know. But you, would, I don't think I could live with knowing that I fucked a dog. No, I, I feel the same way. So good. He, <laughs> he does already. <laughs> I don't even have a dog. <laughs> 
for, any, so, for anyone listening or watching, uh, and you were wondering what that noise was, that was Daniel pouring some more apple juice. What, let, are, you, what let, are you trying? Let, if it's happening here. Let me just say, that was a lot of apple apple juice. That was not even double shot, mate. Shut Double shot of apple juice. Double shot of apple juice. Of apple juice. Yeah. Double shot of apple juice and Coke. <laughs> Do you mean Man's... a non-disclosed soda? Sorry, yeah. And a 90p rip-off of Coke. That you get Stop from... saying Coke. <laughs> you say Coke. I want to be sponsored, okay? <laughs> Coke, sponsor us because we're not alcoholics. And I really like Coke. Right, moving on to Change Game. Do you understand this segment now, Steve? Maybe. You've already done it once. How about... If you don't, you're stupid. How about you explain the rules and then hopefully you'll understand it? It's a good shout. I don't know if that'll work. Although, how big is that paragraph? I won't be able to read it. <laughs> it's pretty big. Two of the milkmen. No, I see. Damn, it's, bad when you, it's bad when even Danny's picking on you for not being able to read. <laughs> yeah, well, Come on, it's man. It's funny because I can't read. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> Two of the milkmen will perform a scene based on suggestions by, from everyone else. Uh, at any point during the scene, the host can say change, at which point the fuck, the previous line of dialogue and or, and or action is replaced with a new line of dialogue and or action. Uh, well you know done, Fair that. play. Yeah. 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 Apparently I can read when I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> From apple juice. From apple juice. <laughs> we are not drinking on the job. <laughs> I am. We definitely are. Um, what are you drinking? <laughs> drinking that wild Drinking it? water. Oh. Straight vodka, that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So who's going to be the host? I'll be the host. Okay, you're the host. Who? Who? Me, me, and Chris did the last time, so it's only you two. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's got to be us. So what are we? Where are we? And what are we discussing? Um, let's do let let's do a real life event. You're going to be an IB fan. Okay. You're. What would? Uh, should we just sex worker? You're, you're a sex worker. <laughs> so I'm a sex worker. Is he a sex worker? Or is he looking for a sex worker? <laughs> no, yeah. you're, you're a sex worker. He's looking for a sex worker. And uh, and then that's it. It's just yeah. he's looking for it. I'm the sex worker. Yeah, let's yeah, go, go with on, that. Okay. okay. Hello, big boy. Wait, hang on. So you're the host? Yeah, so he shall not change. Okay. Hello, big boy. Hello. Would you like a bit of a fiddle? Change. No. Would you like a bit of a fuck? I'm not interested, sorry. Change. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, brilliant. Okay, no worries. Do you want to go back to my place? Go on then. Change. You can go back to my place. Okay, no problem. Where do you live? Change. Okay, no problem. I want to go there right now and fuck your brains out. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm staying in the hotel. Have you got enough money for me? Because I cost quite a lot. Change. Have you got enough money for me? Because I don't quite cost <laughs> enough. <laughs> no, I've got nothing in my pockets. Change. I've got a million pound on me. Change. <laughs> Got a tenner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you've got a tenner. No problem. I think I could do something with that. What can I get me? Change. Uh, I'm sure it'll be enough. <laughs> well, I don't know, son. I don't know. You can probably get a bit of a handy and a blowy. Change. You might be able to get a handy. Change. You definitely won't get a handy. <laughs> oh, sorry. I won't be able to do anything then. Change. <laughs> keep going come on uh, I'll go see if I can get some more money oh well that's upsetting because I really wanted to show you a good time change oh well that's really made me happy because I didn't want to fuck you at all change <laughs> I'm really upset <laughs> oh that makes me sad change oh, I'm happy about that <laughs> <laughs> think end it there yeah <laughs> that was Fucking brilliant. Oh, See? Fuck. Do you get it now? Yeah. Yes. I think, do you know what? I think this segment's good. We're on to a winner there. That's yeah. funny. I'll have to see. Yeah. I'm going to have to like... drink a lot of apple juice every time we do it though. <laughs> Mate, your <laughs> eyes are so bloodshot. I'm fucked. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyone got anything else they want to say before I close off for today? No. Cool. <laughs> so, final segment, which is Simon's Milk Facts. Again, fortunately, he is... Dead. I, I, yeah, he's, I said unfortunately, but it did sound like fortunately. He's dead. So I do still have some milk facts for you guys to listen to. Did you know 98% of all dairy farms in America that are family bad. owned? Fair enough. Oh, God. Like the bed. No. <laughs> did you know that 98% of American dairy farms are family owned? What? There we go. So, <laughs> so that's, he's still going into bed with that, that guy. Yeah. 
Uh, but apparently 98% of dairy farms are family owned. So they're run by a family. Oh, well, so I think so, Oshan doesn't know. It really know. all ties together, doesn't it? They're all run by Vin Diesel. And... <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe maybe yeah. one's run by the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Who knows? Um, I, ca- I kind of like that. Look, we're, we're, all, we're in a family business. Do you know what I mean? We're not, though. We could be. Because I don't like you. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe to our Patreon where you get early access to our videos, bonus content, monthly toe pictures, merchandise discounts, signed postcards, your name in the videos we produce, and more. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive some tap water. And make sure to click that bell to be notified for future content. Any other remarks, gents? No. (laughs) See you next time, you friendly, respectable people.